this is Brian Casey. We're here at HIMSS 2023, and we're here in the booth of Visage Imaging with Brad Levin. He is General Manager North America. Brad, thanks for being with us today. Thanks so much, Brian. Yeah, so Pleasure. we're here. Yeah, so we're here at uh, day two of HIMSS, and uh, it's been a pretty good show so far. Seems like the booth traffic is up uh, quite a bit, or the the floor traffic is up quite a bit over what it was in Orlando. What are some of the the, the things that you're seeing here at HIMSS? Hims has been outstanding for us, Brian. We've uh, really appreciated um, the industry showing up in a big way. Uh, about 30% more traffic we're mm. estimating here at the show floor. Um, imaging at Hims is uh, really focused on the cloud, and um, institutions are trying to transform their imaging operations. Uh, moving beyond the limitations of the past. Yeah. So, can you tell us a little, a little bit about Visage Imaging and, and what you guys do? Sure. Uh, Visage Imaging is a global provider of enterprise imaging solutions, mm -hmm. and principally, Visage is replacing PAC systems from the legacy uh, platforms of the past. And what are some of your main products? Uh, Visage Seven Enterprise Imaging Platform is our main product. Uh, it's um, powered by a streaming engine that distributes. Uh, all kinds of modalities, wherever is required. Uh, Visage Imaging is uh, leading the way in terms of cloud packs. Um, our product has always been engineered for the cloud with a patented streaming engine, incredibly fast, sub-second access to images, yep. regardless of the type of modalities or the number of modalities, the size of the data sets. It's just an incredibly rich experience for the reading radiologists. We have a one viewer philosophy where the radiologists and all of the customers of radiology, the referring physicians get access to the same viewer wherever they need it, whether it's at the institution, whether they're remote reading from home or away from their principal institution. Uh, they're able to collaborate with their colleagues on their imaging and do so in a very robust way. Uh, we're optimizing interpretation workflow in ways that dramatically improve the reading efficiency of the radiologist, uh, up to 50% uh, efficiency yeah, improvement, yeah. Um, which in these days is, is critically important. There's it's so much huge. burnout yep. uh, going on in radiology, and um, the limitations of legacy systems are really holding institutions back. So Visage is able to deploy our solution in the cloud in a much, much uh, rapid fashion, allowing institutions to go live in approximately four to six months mm -hmm. after contract signing. Um, we've seen a dramatic uptake in cloud packs. Um, we thought that there was gonna be a transition period, but we haven't experienced that at all. Yeah, I was just gonna uh, ask you about that because I was talking to somebody else a little bit earlier today and they said that the, the cloud is one of the big stories here and it seems like a lot of the reticence that healthcare providers had about moving their, their data into the cloud has kind of gone away. Why do you think that is? I think there's uh, proven solutions like Visage 7 that are allowing that dream to really happen, to yeah. bring it to life. Um, there's a lot of misinformation, honestly. Um, mm -hmm. the, the hype cycle around cloud and AI and a, a lot of these uh, subject matter areas can often confuse institutions when they're seeking new solutions, right? Yeah. Um, so proven solutions like Visage 7 um, really uh, demonstrate what the potential is. Yeah. for imaging in the cloud. Yeah. Uh, when many institutions approach Visage uh, seeking replacement of their legacy PAC systems, and many of our customers replace multiple PACs when they move to Visage, uh, they do so using a, a pilot in the cloud. We spin up the instance very quickly. They can interpret their own images, access them from anywhere, and you know, seeing is believing. Yeah. And they're able to experience that on their devices, in their environment, over their networks, um, accessing their own images and do so very quickly in a matter of days or weeks after the pilot is, is kicked yeah. off. And that, that's helped accelerate the transformation process. Yeah. Um, because the, the sales cycle in PAX has historically been very long, a multi-year process yep. oftentimes with very lengthy um, uh, selection processes, RFPs and demonstrations and yeah. site visits, et cetera, but the cloud is, is bringing that reality home. And it's, it's allowing uh, potential customers of Visage to experience our solutions um, on their own terms yeah, yeah. and do so very quickly. Um, so it, it, it validates the information that we share through an RFP process, for example, or what they experience 
um, interacting in the sales cycle. Yeah. And once they, they see it in action, yeah. uh, they can move very rapidly to get it live in their institution. Cool, well it's gonna be great to see how cloud develops in the future. Absolutely. All right, well Brad, thanks for being with us. Thanks so much, Brian. Yep. Signing off from HIMSS 2023, my name is Brian Casey. Thank you.